So first, uh, we write the mathematical equivalent of the given information. Uh, the radius of cone is increasing at a rate of 7 meters per minute. So this can be written as uh, dr over dt equals, uh, it is increasing, so it is a positive quantity, 7 meters per minute. So we write down like this. And uh, we are also given the volume is decreasing at a rate of 236 cubic meters per minute. So we write down this as a dv over dt. This equals negative because it is uh, decreasing 236 cubic meters per minute, which can be written as a meter cube per minute as well. And uh, when radius is 9 meters, volume is 180 cubic meters. So when radius equals 9 meters, volume equals 180 cubic meters. So we write down like this. This is 9 meters. Uh, the first thing that we are going to find is we are going to use this information and find the corresponding height. Uh, we can do this by using the volume of the uh, cone. So let me put the volume formula. Uh, if V represents the volume of the code, then it's given by one third pi r squared h. Now I'm going to substitute these two information. That is r equals 9 meter and volume equals 180 meter cube. So I substitute uh, V equal to 180. This equals uh, one third pi times of r is 9 meter. So I put this as uh, 9 squared times of h. So this will help us to find the corresponding height. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 and divide by this quantity that is 9 squared pi. So this equals a height. Now we can do some cancellation here. So this can be cancelled. This 9 squared is basically 81. So 81 divided by 3, this will get us 27. So we can write down this h equals 180 divided by 27 pi. And we can reduce this to simple terms. So this will be 20 over 3 pi. The height is in meters. We now have the, all the information to determine the rate of change of height. So we will utilize the volume formula once again. This is uh, V equals 1 third uh, pi r squared h. Now we have to differentiate both sides uh, with respect to time. So when you do that, uh, we get uh, dv over dt on this side. And this equals uh, 1 third pi. Since this is a constant, I just keep this as it is. And here we have to use the product rule to differentiate this expression r squared h with respect to time. So first I'm differentiating r squared. So when I do that, I get a 2r times of a dr over dt and then multiply with the height plus now I keep the r squared as it is and then differentiate the height with respect to time. So we have dh over dt. We'll plug in all the values we will uh, which we have now to determine this uh, quantity dh over dt, which basically represent the rate of change of height. So let's plug in the values. dv over dt is uh, negative 236. So I put uh, negative 236. And this equals uh, 1 third pi, which I write down as pi over 3, multiplied with uh, 2 times of uh, radius. Radius is uh, 9 meters, so I just plug in 9 without the units. And dr over dt is uh, 7 meters per minute, so I'm going to plug in only 7 without the units. And the height is, that is the corresponding height, which is 20 over 3 pi. Plus r squared is uh, 9 squared times of uh, dh over dt. Let's simplify this so that we determine the quantity dh over dt. So this side we have uh, negative 236 and this equals uh, pi by 3 times of, uh, I'm going to distribute this pi by 3 with the terms inside the bracket. So this will become, in fact, I can do the cancellation over here. This becomes uh, cancelled with 9 as 3 times. So this is 3 times of 2 is 6, 6, 7 is 42. 
42 times of 20 is 840. So we have 840 over pi. This is the first term plus pi by 3 times of 9 squared, which is 81 times of dh over dt. We can once again do the cancellation. This pi will get cancelled with this pi. And 840 divided by 3, this uh, equals 280. So I'm going to write this side, we have negative 236. This equals uh, 280 plus uh, this is, uh, you can cancel this 81 with the 3 as uh, 27 times. So we will have 27 pi times of uh, dh over dt. Now we subtract this 280 on both sides and uh, divide by this quantity 27 by pi so that we solve for dh by dt. So therefore dh over dt this equals negative 236 minus of uh, 280 over 27 pi and this equals negative 516 over 27 pi. We plug this into this calculator and we get uh, dh over dt. This is approximately negative 6.083. We put the unit uh, that is a meter per minute. So we say that uh, this is a negative quantity which means the height is uh, decreasing at a rate of Six point zero eight three meters per minute. Its uh, height is decreasing at rate of. It's uh, not off. I just corrected this. 